Thanks. I'm Ryohei, and uh, this is joint work with Satoshi. And let me start my presentation. So maybe everyone knows here knows the EM algorithm, which is a parameter estimation method for latent variable models. So if you are interested in model selection for mixture models, we propose to add this term in E step. This term are maybe too weak. And we call this procedure factorized asymptotic vision inference, FAB. And actually, this procedure provides us uh, several you know, desirable properties, like uh, very easy to implement. Just add one term to EMM algorithm. And uh, automatic component selection, estimation identifiability, and uh, we can control the complexity for individual component in an efficient way. So, and uh, everything is done without, uh, basically without hyperparameter. So, anyway, let me start from mixture models and the model selection. So, this talk is focusing on finite mixture model, not infinite, as a non parametric base. And the typical example is the Gaussian mixtures. And uh, this talk deals with this type of mixture model. Here, each component has its own model, comp I mean, the dimensionality. So, for example, we, we can mix uh, the, the first order line and the quadratic curve or something like that. So, in this model, the model section is to choose the number of mixed component. And uh, in this type of model, in addition, we want to choose the individual degrees of mixed curves. And maybe there's a many way to achieve this model selection problem, and uh, we follow the Bayesian way. Basically, Bayesian selects the model which maximizes marginal log likelihood. And uh, this integral is often computationally intractable, so we need some approximation method, like a BIC or a variational Bayes or MCMC. So our method is a kind of intermediate between BIC and variational base. So let me focus on these two methods in this talk. So this is BIC. This is very you know simple model selection scoring. And but BIC is not good for mixture model. Why? Because mixture model has well-known issue called non-regularity and non-regularity non, non and non-identifiability. Let's think about this very simple mixture model having three parameters, A, B, and C. A is a mixing coefficient, and B and C is a parameter for individual component. And suppose B equal to C. In likelihood space, models on this line, this line, are equivalent in terms of likelihood. It means maximum likelihood estimator is not unique for this model. So why this is not good? First reason is that Fisher information matrix is singular around the maximum likelihood estimator. And this guy proves that uh, this complexity term, uh, actually this is, actually BIC complexity term lose the theoretical justification because this is singular. And actually, this guy proves that this term is too large for mixture model. Another issue is that uh, non-identifiability. And the same guy proves that generalization performance of non-identifiable estimator becomes significantly bad. So it's not good to use BIC for mixture modeling. But uh, we can you know, avoid these two issues using variational Bayesian inference. So basically, variational Bayesian inference approximates the marginal log likelihood using its lower bound, and it typically described like this. The key idea is that we assume independency between latent variables and the parameters on variational distribution. And uh, this joint distribution is decomposed like this. And uh, we can, this decomposition give us uh, computational tractability. But this assumption does not hold in, on true distribution. So basically, this equality does not hold in, for this approximation. And algorithm is very elegant. 
and the very you know, natural extension of EM algorithm. So in this talk, we propose alternative approximation method in Bayesian way. So first, we let me explain the, our approximation, approximation strategy. Okay, let's, let us consider a tighter lower bound like this. And this is also used by collapsed variation of Bayesian method. This is, I think, a very good method as well. And in this representation, parameters are integrated out. So compared to this representation, we do not assume anything on this variation of distribution, but just marginalize out. And the equality hold by maximizing Q. And so with maximizing Q, this this is the same as marginal log likelihood. And uh, we notice the numerator here. This is a marginalized complete likelihood. And this is described like this. And this is complete likelihood. And fortunately, even if the mixture model itself is non-singular, complete likelihood, if we have both variable x and z, it's regular. So we can do Laplace approximation in this factorized distributions. And uh, I'm not sure it's good or not in Bayesian sense, but uh, to apply the non-informative prior or ignore prior in asymptotic sense, we obtain the approximation of this marginal uh, complete likelihood. And substituting this approximation to here gives us the factorized information criterion for our you know, approximation of marginal log likelihood. And uh, it is defined on maximized Q. And uh, interesting is that uh, we ignore the prior, but still we have some complexity term. It is independent on prior. And the uh, interesting part is here. This DC is a parameter dimensionality of this component. And this is a sum of latent variables. So dependency between parameter and latent variables appears in some sense in this term. <coughs> so, and the uh, good news is that this FIC is asymptotically consistent with marginal log likelihood. It means that if we have a large number of data, these two guys have the same value. Uh, very bad news is that here, theta bar is uh, maximum likelihood estimator for complete likelihood. So we need to know the. So it's not available in practice. So we need some alternative way to, to evaluate this value. Okay, so the story is we want to you know, approximate the marginal log likelihood and uh, it is done using FIC, but it is still not available. So actually, we, what we do is maximize the lower bound of FIC. Okay, this is FIC we derived in the previous slide. And we have two interactable part in this formulation. First part is peer, as I explained. This is not available in practice. So we lower bound this guy by this guy, just uh, replace theta bar to theta. This is a definition of maximum likelihood estimation. Another interactable part is here. This is log sum latent variable expected by this variational distribution. So this requires a basically exponential computational cost. But fortunately, this is low function, so it's concave. So this guy can be upper bounded, or negative, this guy is lower bounded by some linear function. And uh, we need some linearization parameter Q tilde here, which it will be optimized in our algorithm. So substituting this guy to here and this guy to here, we obtain the lower bound of FIC. 
And uh, this is the uh, objective function of our factorized asymptotic Bayesian inference. So this is lower bound of FIC, and FIC is uh, asymptotically consistent with marginal log likelihood. So what we do is that maximum this lower bound in terms of model, variational distribution, parameter theta, and the linearization parameter Q tilde. And here, first let me assume C is fixed. I will explain how to choose C, but first let me uh, assume C is fixed. So in Gaussian mixture case, this is Gaussian mixture, and this is uh, our objective. By the way, this is EM objective. This is our objective. This is EM. Oh, this is EM. So interesting difference is here, this guy. In NEM algorithm, in this step, we fix parameter theta and op optimize this Q. And the Q-related term is here and uh, here, right? In no objective, we have additional Q-related term inside this L. Th this is L. <coughs> so this is, this guy is uh, that Q-related. So this term generate this term. Okay, this is the same as the EM update, and we have additional term in previous slide, and this generates this exponentiated term, which comes from, originally comes from this term, which is the complexity of this component. Observing this term, okay, this is the parameter dimensionality of this component. So more complex component, and this is the size of component, so smaller component is more strongly regular. It means uh, this term is become small. And the uh, other procedure is exactly the same as the uh, EM algorithm. So very simple to implement. In another example of polynomial curve mixture, in this case, we fix uh, C so far. We want to maximize, uh, no, we want to optimize the, the individual degrees of mixed curve. Good news is that our objective do not have the cross term across the component. So we don't need to consider the combina combination issue among the components. So we can individually optimize each component in M step. So basically, uh, basically it's the same as uh, is, uh, the Gaussian mixture case. But the difference is that we should solve the model selection problem for each component in M step here. And uh, uh, important thing is that this procedure monotonically increases the lower bound of FIC. Uh, like uh, EM algorithm monotonically increases the likelihood. Okay? So we can guarantee the convergence of algorithm. And uh, this is stopping criterion. And uh, so far we fix C. And in a in way, we can choose the number of components. Just use the outer loop to choose the number of components for C equal to 1 to C max. Just run the, the five iterative optimization and choose the best one. But five give us a more natural way to choose component. Let's think about this term again. How large? this term is. This is a Gaussian mixture case. And uh, we have the 100 data point, and this is uh, data dimensionality is 10. The smaller component, this is alpha C, so smaller component has a smaller value of this term. Right? So 
path is iterative procedure, so smaller component is likely to be small, and small and small and small, and finally, this term is becomes zero. So small components are automatically shrunk. So just a set a very small threshold value, and we can remove such a small component from model during iterative optimization. So we call this procedure shrinkage fab, and uh, compared to this procedure to stage fab, we don't need the outer loop to choose the number of component, just to run the fab iterative optimization and check the, the size of component in each step and just remove small component from mixture model. And uh, uh, this is the issue of the non-identifiability. Right? Maximum likelihood estimator is not unique. Okay, let's think about the convergence point. This is the, 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 the optimal uh, variational distribution equal to the size of component, equal to uh, this Q equal to this is a uh, update formula for pub. Okay. Okay, maybe I have no time to explain in detail in this part, but uh, the, not just a very simple calculation, we can show that <coughs> if B equal to C, in this case, very simple case, the optimal solution of FAB is unique, which means the alpha one equal to alpha two. It means that this, in this case, A equal to uh, uh, 0 0.5. It maximizes entropy, dis entropy of distribution and in the equivalent class. So here, this is a unique solution of FAB. So FAB, FAB procedure is identifiable, identifiable estimation, while the ML estimation is non-identifiable. Okay, let's summarize uh, the FAB, FIC and FAB. FIC is uh, asymptotic approximation of a marginal log likelihood, but it's not available in practice, so we maximize a lower bound of FIC, and uh, it is very e simple algorithm, and uh, we can optimize uh, component, the number of components and uh, each, each component type, and the uh, FAB estimator is identifiable, and uh, we did not, we, we didn't say, but uh, you know, uh, FAB basically do not have hyperparameter. We, we need uh, the first number of component, but uh, if we set it to sufficient large number, uh, the rest of the process is automatically done. Okay, so let's move on to the experiment. This is very artificial, but and the illustrative example of polynomial curve mixture. This is true model, and we have the four model with degree zero, degree two, degree one, and degree three. And this shows how FAB works. In, in, in initialization step, in this case, we initialize uh, latent variables, okay? And uh, so all curves are initialized to degree zero. And this is step 15 here. And uh, FAB uh, not only estimate the parameter value, but uh, degree of curve are changing during FAB estimation. And at this point is uh, we observe the decrease of lower bound of FIC. This part is correspond to the shrinkage operation. Shrinkage operation do not guarantee the increase of uh, FIC value, FIC lower bound value, but, uh, but the minimum number of component is one, so anyway we can guarantee the, the convergence of algorithm. 
And uh, this is step 44 here, the convergence point. And uh, it actually converged to the true model. And the next one is uh, uh, the, the, the artificial Gaussian mixture case. Data dimensionality is 15, and the true model has five components. And, uh, the true parameter dimensionality is uh, 679. We compare the five with the two method. First one is the variational vision EM with dish prior. This is the finite Gaussian mixture. And the model selection is done using the variational vision strategy. Next one is uh, variational, variational based judicial process Gaussian mixture model proposed by Brian Jordan. And in here, this guy uses the variational vision inference, but the model selection is done by the, by the non-parametric way. So with Small number of data sets, this is uh, 250, and this is maybe 105, just 50. Five does not work well because this is asymptotic method, so we need a sufficient number of data. But with the number, the, with sufficient number of data, five works quite well. Actually, with 2,000 data points, it converged, almost converged to true model, and the KL divergence is almost zero, while the other method still have some distance from true model. Okay, let me skip this slide, but the uh, message is that the fab selects, collectively selects the number of components with sufficient number of data. And uh, another advantage is computational efficiency. And this guy is a uh, judicial process non-parametric method, and uh, this is a very rich model, so it requires some computational cost. And I think this difference is just a problem of implementation, because these two guys both use, okay, both use uh, the outer loop to choose the uh, uh, number of components. And the shrinkage fab did not use the outer loop to choose. So this is 10 times faster and 10 times faster. Okay, we have some uh, results for UCI data set, but uh, I have no time to explain, sorry. And the future work includes, uh, this is the first work of fab, fab inference. So time-dependent latent variable, extension to time-dependent latent variable is important. And actually, I, we have several results, and this is actually possible. And I'm not sure if this is possible or not, but uh, con extension to continuous latent variable is also an interesting topic to go. And uh, theoretical, more deep, deeper theoretical analysis gave us some more insight about FAB. Thanks, that's all. Yes. Uh, this, uh, yes. 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 That's true. So, I'm just wondering how does this relate to the FIC and the? Uh -huh. It's very, you know, <laughs> good question, but uh, difficult because uh, Professor Watanabe used uh, algebraic geometry, right? It's very difficult in yeah. terms of mathematical so. Uh huh. Uh, yes, I'm not sure this uh, this uh, ask your question or not, but uh, that paper proved that this BIC terms is the complexity, stochastic complexity of mixture model is much smaller than this complexity term, and uh, from fab viewpoint. Our complexity term uh, is, uh, this is not good. Defined like this, right? And this is much smaller than M because, uh, because you know, this is indicator variable 
and uh, this is the size of component. So maybe in stochastic complexity viewpoint, it's his theory, and uh, the what Fab say may agree with each other. Okay, let's uh, thank the speaker. Thank you.